This is CPM Calculus Chapter 6, number 95. We are given this function f of x has two pieces, okay? And we want to find the value for a, which would make this function continuous. Remember, continuous means basically we can graph it without lifting our pencil and very like, um, like common understanding of what continued continuity means, okay? So for that to be true, um, when we have this piece of the function, when we get to negative 3, it has to equal to this piece of the function when we're also at negative 3. So that means at x is equal to negative 3, square root of 1 minus x plus 7 equals to negative a x cubed. Okay, these two pieces have to equal each other, and that will make our function continuous. So let's go ahead and plug in 3, I mean negative 3 into x, so we have the square root of 1 minus negative 3 plus 7 equals to negative a times negative 3 cubed. This is square root of 4, so that's 2 plus 7, which is 9, is equal to negative a times negative 27. When you cube 3, you get negative 27. These negatives cancel, you get 9 is equal to 27a. Divide both sides by 27, you get a is equal to 9 over 27. Simplify that, that's just 1 over 3. So a has to be 1 over 3 for our function f of x to be continuous. That ends for us CPM Calculus Chapter 6, number 95.